Hey guys, we're here for another episode of the show that's yet to be named tier list edition. We're talking the MCU and we're getting ready to make a lot of you nerds really upset. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm here with my boy, Johnny Donut triple seven. Uh, my other boy, Putty Donut triple seven. And my other boy, Nikki Donut triple seven. Um, you can catch Thank them you, all Crunch. at uh, Captain Crunch channel. Gamer Pawn Edge, Johnny Donut triple seven and the other guy. Yeah, uh, this is for you since it was, so I haven't even. I've been wearing this all day and never even bothered to show it off. But da, da, da. nine thousand. Um, no, I'm sorry. That would be funny. So <laughs> we're gonna cheerlist the MCU and we're gonna go really fast and most likely everything that's gonna happen is gonna make Putty very mad, probably. So let's just jump into it. Uh, we have movies here from Marvel. First one's Ant Man. What do y'all think? The first Ant Man, in my opinion, I would say it is a solid C to a B. That's my opinion. Yeah. I would say for now, just so we see our placement, let's put it in C. Okay, I agree. I'll agree I'm with that. Because good. Because yeah. I do like it, and I feel like it could move, but I don't want to just get ahead of ourselves right now. Okay. Ant Man and the Wasp is worse than Ant Man. Really? That's I a D. Thought, I actually thought it was a little bit. Well, no, it's about the same. Yeah. Anyway, either way, it's it's definitely worse in my opinion. Yeah. It, it's missing like the the Michael Pena scene is is lower tier. Uh, the actual story is kind of silly. I mean, it's not a bad movie. It's not. It's not a bad movie at all. I like it's it. Not as strong as the first one. No, this is definitely S. 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 This yeah, is S. On, S. It's, it's, it's not arguable. Yeah. Um, Age of Ultron, Ultron is like around Ant Man and the Wasp. I was. Well, I would give it. Uh, yeah. Well, I, uh, I would just say put it that a B. Yeah. I put. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my list. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could leave it in B. All right, Endgame definitely yes. Endgame definitely yes. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> this this is this is what I want to do right now. Mm-hmm. Um, put Ant Man into B, but behind Avengers, and put Ant Man and Wasp into C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Avengers: Infinity War is not an S. I would say um, A. It's to me, it's a high B. It's the highest B. Really, I'd say actually a high. I mean, it's still. I mean, comparatively, I mean, we're going to see movies that are going to be higher than Infinity War, but still, it's still a solid movie that I feel like it should at least. Okay, we'll put it in A A. for now. Yeah, I would say it has. You got to put that in. But I just like. I think when I when I see the online response to it, I feel like people who don't actually read comic books have. Yeah, but that's not what this is about. I know, I know. They they, they think Infinity War is better than Endgame, but I feel like if you if you've read comic books, you already knew everything that was going to happen. So it kind of sucks as a comic book reader. It sucked to watch Infinity. But you have to remember the whole point of a tier list. Are we really going to say Infinity War is on the same level as Ant Man? Yeah. No, what? No, it's definitely better. I okay, felt, uh, Infinity War for me felt too rushed at the end. Yeah. When they just tried to cram everything at the yeah. end. Right. And I agree. And again, I swear, as, I as far as solid, as solid, as solid, just as, as far as like, for example, uh, like if someone was to say Age of Ultron was better than uh, Infinity War, because even Ant Man, I can't agree, is better than Age of Ultron. But as far as Infinity War, that still is a shocker. Let's me. be realistic. All of these movies are good ex- for me, except for one. And we'll get there. All right. Um, we'll Black Panther is either right behind or ahead of Infinity War. I would I, I say think, I would say it was low B's for me, to be honest. Really? No, I think yeah. it's I think it's as good as Infinity War, or at least underneath it. it, it, it in my eyes. I kind of agree with you, John. Like it's it was okay. It was a good movie, but not as great as people made it sound like it was. But yeah, the that's... one thing that was bad for Wait, me. Wait, what? I said it was good. Yeah, but it's not like high rank, like. I no, John. It's... John's saying it's A tier. I'm saying B tier. Oh, you're saying B tier. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Then, sorry, Drew. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. you both said B, and me and Putty both said A. So put it behind Infinity War, then. No, I think that means it's high, because I said right. low B. All right, whatever. Oh, no, put it behind Infinity. No, War no, for leave now. it for and now. Pro- and then there's probably going to be others ahead of it. Okay. I, I'm okay with that for now. Let's just yeah. see where we get. Uh, uh, again, Black- I don't think I don't think Black Panther would be on the same level as Infinity War, but whatever. Black Widow is slightly better or slightly worse than Ant Man and the Wasp. That's worse for me. I actually put Black Widow as a D. I'll, I I'm not going to argue yet. that. If you I guys go, it. if you I'll guys go, review. D, I'll allow it. I yeah, I go. I go with a low C. We go with that. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Okay. remember I didn't watch that's so why I have no opinion. So on it, here so. we go. This movie is a hefty, hefty F. 
Uh, this is if there was a tier below F, I Which would put it this? in there. The first the one, first first Avenger. Avenger. Oh yeah, that's I, right. It's all in order. I forgot. Listen, um, listen. I like, I like it, but again, we definitely know that there's better, uh, there's better Captain America movies, and there's worse I don't, movies in the in, in MCU too. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's still we are coming up in movies that are gonna be worse, but I don't feel like it should get an F. I feel like it to should, me, this is. I feel like it's still better than Black Widow and, and the Wasp combined. And, like, as far as as far as writing goes and acting, it's. By far the worst Marvel movie. It's not it's even the worst comics. out of the three Captain America films for sure. That I agree with, but I don't feel like it's better, worse than Black Widow though. Come uh, on, now. Black Widow was like was a, was a, okay. Was a, but if we're gonna do that, then you put Black Widow in D behind Captain America. I'm not. I will not budge on it being higher than a D. Yeah, I enjoyed the first Captain America. This movie you guys are is out objectively the best movie they've ever made. That's uh, the, that's the top has. S. Winter Soldier. Best I, I, Marvel movie. Compared I, I, to like the Civil War, Civil War. I don't know. See, I'm kind of mixed on. Uh, this is see, better what, than Civil War. See, that's so hard for me because you like Civil, Civil War, War because it pays. It, it it's all like Easter eggs and like references. Well, not not just that. Just that. I, the thing is, I love the Civil War series. They definitely changed a lot, but they had to, of course. It's the MCU. So Winter Soldier, I do love as well. Uh, I'm not saying I, I feel like they're both in the same thing. Oh, I just feel Winter Soldier as far as like dialogue is much better. And Civil War is more action packed. Does that make sense? Like Winter Soldier just feels like it's more better. Winter Soldier is the only movie of all the Marvel movies that doesn't really feel like a Marvel movie. Really? It feels like a spy thriller. Yeah, and for and that I reason, agree with it... that. It's like I said to me. That's that's my favorite in the MCU, and I'd put that at the top I, of the list. I, it's but not that's my just favorite, I, but I think objectively, it's the best made movie. Putty, where would you put it? Because I would say it's S, but I don't think it's a be- it's in front of either. I, of these I would I, no, no. I would put it in front of Infinity War. It would be a high A for me, but I can, I can, I, I would be okay with a low S. I would be okay. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just I still feel some wars better in my eyes. Okay, so hold on. I, I would say it's, I would say it's above. I, I would say we should we should leave we should debate other tiers right now, but S we should save to the end. Okay, just leave that. That's yeah. fine. Um, this I would say this is better than Captain America: First Avenger. No, I think I think it's better than Black Widow, but not the first Captain America. That's how I feel. I'll agree with Putty on this one. Like that. I yeah. really hate that movie. Like, I don't think you guys. No, I that. I agree, but the only way, like, took... the, the only way the only way I will say Scarlett hey, Johansson is better is because she's hotter than her. That's the only thing. But as far yeah, as I'm not reading movies, movies on that. Um, <laughs> no, I know that's the only thing I could tell I, you that would make it better. I went to watch First Avenger with uh, Shake Shake and Bake, and like we were so excited for it. And I took him on. I think it was on his birthday, and we left the theater, and he just looked at me, and he's like, "That was the most disappointing movie ever." And I was like, "It's so bad. I don't know why you guys like it." But, anyways, Civil War is ahead of Infinity War for me. I would say yeah, Civil War is, is bought is like the lowest S tier for me. No, right it's now, not an S. It's a high A. I see. I, I see that, yeah. All right. Um, All right. Putty, you're okay with that? I, I, well, I, I, you guys, you guys both said it. lowest S, and we both said high A. So it's basically the same thing. You can flip a coin if you want. I, I would I say Doctor know. Strange is like a B tier for me. Doctor yeah, Strange I'm is better than that. Ultron. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely yes. better than Ultron for sure. Yeah, I agree to that. Yep. Guardians is at, like where Black A-tier. Panther is. A-tier. I think uh, it's better, better than Black better, Panther. Better, better. I've seen, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I've been better than Infinity War in my eyes because it was okay, just such yeah, a good I can movie. live with that. Put it ahead of Infinity War. That's fine. S- part two is so good. It's as not well. good. What? No, part two it's is good, so bad. It's good, oh, but it God. definitely uh, for me, I feel like it's right behind Doctor Strange. I would say I, I was going to say. I, actually, you know what? I perfectly can agree with Putty. It's right. Yeah, that's behind what I was going to say. Yeah. JD, you got anything to say about? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm good with that one. Okay. I hate okay. this movie. Hate I it, think it, this it. is actually, worse behind Ant Man and Wasp. Here's the thing: I actually liked this movie, but I didn't like the actor that played uh, like like everything he's else. He's the I best good. part of it. No, he's the worst part of it in my eyes. Like he is the worst for uh, worst version of of that. But anyway, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm okay, confident by Hold on, Wasp. I want to know why is he the worst part of it. The, the thing is, I just it, 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 he felt too cocky to me. Like I feel like the the way Bruce Banner is, even like in the comic books or anything like that, he was more, a little more grounded in my eyes. Um, he was very smart, but he wasn't mm-hmm. like cocky. Like, and I feel like uh, uh, um, Edward Norton just played him way too like like he was he, like a know it all. You know what I mean? Like, uh, do it, you know that, that? I just they... felt like it. Norton, but he was still better than the Eric Bana Hulk. Yeah. And oh no, if, I agree with that, but that's if, not if the list. Nobody knows that's what about that. If nobody knows about that, Marvel refuses to comment on whether or not this movie takes place after the first Hulk. So you can yeah. you can you can say it does. Okay, so where are we putting this? Because I like in my opinion, I'll leave it there. I'm okay with there. Yeah, I'm I would yeah, say it was a D, This but, is us. Yeah. 
This is an S movie. Uh, I don't know if mm-hmm. I agree with an S. It's I mean, the one that started all. I kind of JD, agree with that. what do you say? Iron Man, low S, high A's. I agree with that. Okay, it well, was it's the movie that I, started everything. I can live with it ahead of Civil War or behind that for now. Yeah. So you, okay. you guys decide. I would say, in my opinion, it's behind Civil War. So therefore, it'd have to be like top okay. A. I'm okay with that. I can deal with that. Yeah. Iron Man uh, 2. This is behind Captain See? Marvel. And this is the last really place, that then. bad. Mm-hmm. Like I, I that's actually mm-hmm. here's the thing. I, I I know where we're going at. And if I'm if I'm if, if what's about to happen happens, it's actually gonna upset me because I, I did not like it. But anyway, we're gonna go into it. Kay. I actually liked two, but I like it better than Incredible Hulk, way better than But you Incredible see what Hulk I mean? Like I'm starting to like notice the way we're placing things on the list based on what you're saying is everything's based on what did they show. They introduced they introduced uh characters, they introduced uh war machine. So you're like, oh I like this because it's showing me things I like. No, no, the, no. I, I there's the movie. No, it's so poorly written. Yeah, but John, he's not saying it's an S tier, buddy. Where were you saying you would put that? I was saying I'd put it in front of Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah, yeah, like no, he's not it's saying definitely not that good. He's saying it's a C tier, John. You don't need the whole. Show. I would okay. I for me, the only one that's an F is First Avenger, but Iron Man Two is definitely a D. Like I can't. Well, John, let JD figure this out. I mean, I liked it. Like I mean, I actually I liked think, Iron yeah. Man Two, um, but only for what it meant to the thing. But I got kind of agree with the writing. The writing was weak. It wasn't that great, yeah. um, and I don't like Mickey Rourke. I don't, okay, I don't, either. Like, I don't either, but it was very enjoyable. Okay, I so B, place it. It's D. It's D for sure. But is that? Are you good with it there? Iron yeah, Man, I'm good with Iron it Man there. 3 is better than The Hulk. No, see, Iron no, Man 3 was worse Iron than Iron Man 2. Was, two. No, it's not. Dude, what they did to... The, okay, you That's, clearly see what don't I mean? read the you're, you're basing everything based no. on comics. It's a yes. I like... Okay, I kind of agree with you. Campo, I agree with the fact that this was be- this was the better movie. It was better written. It had yes. better action. Way better action. Wait, so we're saying this is better action. than what? They're saying it's better than... Uh, uh, the See better what I mean? You're basing everything too. based on the comic book. Well, I don't see it on its comic book but, accurate. But, but, but None of these think, movies are accurate. That's why you like not, Captain... Okay. That's why you like Iron Man 2, because it shows you things from okay. the comic book. I understand it's not comic it's accurate. Let, not. Me, let me take it out of the comic book accurate. The whole thing about them trolling with that... with uh, What's his name? What's the actor's name? Man, uh, ben uh, Kingsley, Kingsley, who's amazing yeah, Kingsley. in that role. Yeah, But the thing is, like that that troll right there was the stupidest thing ever written. Like, why would you do that? I understand that they wanted to, to surprise you, but the, the whole thing of who ends up being the Mandarin okay, but was such a frustrating thing. In, like, it's so in fairness, on that same argument, it's still a much better visually and put together movie than Iron Man 2. So why would it be behind Iron Man 2? And say what you will about the premise, Guy Pierce put it in a great performance. Okay, I guess I don't know. I mean, okay, it's, it's, so it's, I'll let my brother read it because okay, he's the if, only one if, that's if not. I'm, if in I'm this gonna argument. be, a, if I'm gonna be a tiebreaker here, I'm gonna say that I did like. Uh, I liked Iron Man three. Okay, probably so put better. it wherever you want. I would say I liked it better than Iron Man two. If you guys disagree with that, I'll move it back. I, for me, I would have it low. I would have it higher, and Putty wanted it lower, so I think that's kind of fair. JD, I, I, I never watched. Captain I liked Marvel, it better than Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. And put, I, I like Iron Man 2 better than Captain Marvel. Okay, so I, fix I mean, I it. There you go. It, but... Okay, I think I, Iron Man 3 is better than Captain America. I, so do okay, you guys think Iron that. Man 2 is better than Captain America? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay, so I agree with that too. So now we're on the right path. Okay, there we go. We got, we're getting there. And Hulk, do we think, I, these are both do we think that both of these are Ds? <laughs> no, these no, are both I don't. Than Hulk. I think Iron Man 2 is worse than Hulk. Okay, flip them. And that's I it. don't, but okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, well, at least we got it out of D. See, we work together as a team. I want my board. <laughs> that was a good tier list teamwork there. Okay, so I, I'm not a huge fan of Spider Man Homecoming. I liked it, but it wasn't. I actually think Far From Home is much better, of course. Yeah. So I would put that at like a low B. I would say it's better than Ultron. I'm down for that. Yeah. yeah That's the I wrong agree movie. To that. Yeah. That's the wrong 100%. movie. Okay, so to me, you can argue with me about this all day. Um, animated movies excluded, this is the best Spider-Man movie. I agree. I think it encapsulates mm-hmm. the character better than any other movie did. And and Jared Leto was amazing as, or Jake Gyllenhaal, sorry, as uh, <laughs> Yeah, he was as Mysterio. Yes. As Mysterio, he was... <laughs> uh, 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 he was I, I couldn't think of seeing anybody else playing it. That was to amazing me, this movie. Is, this By is the way, is this Black on Panther. Netflix now? Yeah. I gotta watch mm-hmm. it again. It's around Black Panther for me. It's either ahead or behind of Black Panther. I would Panther. say it's better. I yeah, love this I movie. would too. All right, Thor 1. That's uh, that, okay, Thor I'll... 1 is like ahead of Captain America, maybe. Yeah, I can I'm agree to that. that. 
Thor 2 is ahead of the, the other F. Thor. A F. That's yeah. an F. That's an F. Come on now. Thor Dark World is horrible. I say it's better than the first Thor. What? Okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. I can't. Hey, so you guys that. go. You can defeat my argument. No, no I, just don't. I, I, I think it's better than Captain America. I, I would say I like this. I kind of liked part two better than part one, but. Okay. Okay, so oh, put we'll it put ahead it of Cap. We'll, we'll okay, put it that's there. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Where did you want to put it? I didn't even get F. Really I said F. Yeah, that's oh. my that's my worst okay, Marvel movie. I think that's fair then. Okay. Now and, and, then, it's and fair, then of course it's fair this... under the circumstance that my by far worst movie is somehow three spots ahead of last. So I mean I think that's fair. Um, I'm gonna say with all honesty, this is probably one of the funnest like times I've ever had that's going to the movie. That's the best Thor um, movie I've ever seen. I'm going to say this is ahead of Doctor Strange. I want you everyone to understand. I went to the movie theaters like three times to watch this when it came out with my buddies. I three agree that times. it's a fun time, but it's like not very driven by anything. Except it doesn't matter. It was a fun movie. It was so it's ahead of, it's it's ahead of Doctor Strange for me. You guys I, argue. I kind of put there. it between Guardians and Infinity War for me personally. I would say this is S. So uh, you guys tell me where to put it. I'm, well, down, but... I'm down to put the Guardians and Infinity War between that. I'm, I'm 100% down for that. Okay, then do it. I Guardians can live with it. I'm not going to cry about it. Infinity right War. there. Oops. All right, now we're right, on so to the Netflix TV, TV show. Oh, not Netflix, the Disney Plus TV. Okay, show. I'm going to say this. I know one of my viewers is going to watch this and he's going to hate me because he loves this show so much. Sorry, Bryson. A WandaVision is a great show. If I was going to pick out of the three shows, it would be my second. Second, Actually, no, maybe I, it's tied with one. You so definitely would, like Loki the best. I do like Loki the best. <laughs> that was yeah. super easy. That's so do cool. I. I I'm, gonna, I'm just going to jump in quickly and say I'm going to put WandaVision as like a C. WandaVision, I wanted to be. WandaVision is, is, is behind Ant Man. No, WandaVision is ahead of Ultron. Yeah, yeah. I can do I can I live can with that. that. Yeah, I can live with that one too. And it, for me, I'll say this first, and then you guys can argue about it. Loki is one spot ahead of Wandavision. I would actually, yeah. actually, yeah, actually, I, I, that, I that fits that. in perfect for me because I'd rather watch all of these movies. Before, yeah. yeah, and yeah. then easily, uh, let, J- JD, you tell them where Falcon and the Winter Soldier should go. That's top of the list for me. That for me, that is above Spider Man Homecoming. Okay, so I mean, far uh, from home. No, no, for me, it would be Homecoming. You actually said it right there. Here's the thing. I like Loki, but I, I like I, I know me and Nick had talked about it. Um, I like Falcon and Wear Soldier because of uh, I, we got the, you know, the, the U.S. agent in there. There were so many characters that I love they put in there. The only one is the whole black, the, the, the um, what's her name? I forgot her name now. Um, she was the only flaw, but then I understand why they changed it. So, Power broker. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no, no, no. Well, yeah, Power Broker and um, the Red Flags, or what's, what do you call them? I've forgotten the name. Flag Smasher. Smasher. Flag Smashers. Thank you. Because I remember it was Flag Smasher. I remember him from the Deadpool comics. That's why I know him. So, for this, I still enjoyed it, though. I loved how they introduced him, but I can understand if it doesn't have the flashiness that Loki and One Division both have. So, here's why I would do it. I actually put it between both Loki and One Division in my eyes. That's how I feel. Um, okay, so let's just. I got to go that- higher than that. I'm going to say, for me, it's in A. I would say, I, honestly, I think you guys are nuts. I didn't really think it was A or S tier. As far B tier for sure. Again, as it's far as writing and story and acting go, it's far better than Loki and WandaVision. Like, okay. Wyatt it, Russell oh. put in an Emmy. Like I said, like, it in he our literally got too. nominated for an Emmy for it. Uh, so I'll, did Don I'll, Cheeto. I'll give you guys that. And I said no, that too, didn't I, John, in our yeah. review? There's no way you guys, I could put it on the same level as A tier, the A tier list movies. Can okay, you? well, then I put it ahead of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, at least. I'm down to put it even in front of Doctor Strange, but I just don't think it's an A tier, in my opinion. I could live with that. Yeah, I'm down with that. All right. And now for the okay. rest of these movies, we'll talk to you guys in four um, years. Hold on. I, that, that's the end of the video, but I just want to say here Shang-Chi, I'm going to give you early predictions. I think it's going to be like around Doctor Strange. I know. We're not, we're not done the video. We're not even close to done the video because we need to talk about S tier. Are you guys okay with leaving it like this? I want you to put Endgame number one. Yes. And thank Avengers you. number that's three. That's what I, I wanted. Okay. That's what I'll I wanted. Take that. But, and, see, I, but see, I would put Aven- I would put v- Avengers still above uh, Winter Soldier, though. Come on now. Even though Winter Soldier I, is I'm good. biased just because Winter Soldier is my favorite character. I right? will so allow I, get it, you, I, get it. I agree with you, but I will allow that because it's still like an iconic movie. I picked it as my most influential movie. Yeah. I, I will, Avengers can be ahead of that. That's fine. 
I'm, okay. I'm fine with leaving it like that, but if you guys want to move it back, I'm down. But um, I the, way, the but only I thing say, I wanted to change was this ha- end game has to be best. Marvel. End game is the best, best, I think. It's, but it's, I will say this though: I do feel like Iron Man at least needs to go back on this tier just because of its of its influence on making the MCU. We wouldn't even be having this video if it wasn't for that movie. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. That's okay, I, I can agree with that. You know, what um, I mean, I would also like to. I would like to put maybe Ant Man ahead of Ultron. No, actually, no, no, no. Ultron has too many important scenes in it. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. it definitely did give I, I don't think Black story. Widow was the worst. Like, I can't live with this. It has to be at least better than Captain Marvel. No, the thing is, yeah, I agree. No, I, I'm okay with okay. that. Just, Captain Marvel okay. was just so bad. But at the same time, I, again, I still think Black Widow is better than Thor Dark World, so I feel like that should go down. Go, do it. Yeah. I did. I feel, okay. Wait, this one down all the way? I, no. I, the I, the think that, okay, well. I think that Black Widow had some of the best dynamic between characters. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you guys: you guys are uh, is that Thor Dark World that's underneath Black Widow, or is that Thor? This is that's Thor. Thor okay, never mind. Okay, we're good. There. We're good. There. Okay. I also yeah. think that Black Widow is better than Captain America: First Avenger. I don't opinion. agree with that because I feel like uh, the- I'm gonna say it is just because like this. Yeah, I, I haven't even watched it, but I mean, like, I feel like it has to be better. Yeah, than that. there's no way in 2020 this is, they this released is the thing. Movie. It's funny that That's- it's it's funny that this argument happened at all because I don't know anyone personally that even likes First Avenger, and for Chesco. Does he? Yeah, I actually like it. That's that's the thing. That's I, I don't understand why people are hate on it. So okay, much. but okay, it's, why it's though? Boring. Why do you like it, Putty? I'm just well, curious. It's it, again, it's something again. I, I as experienced as watching movies and so on and so forth. You know, the the whole Red Skull uh, Captain America thing is such a big deal, just in general for his storyline. You know what I mean? And. We, they they did everything right in my eyes as far as they they made sure that it was still during World War. They did the the whole campy stuff where he would dress up and all the stuff and you know just like in the the comics where they, he would have his uh, moment where he's in World War where they um where he had a campy look to him. You know what I mean? Even the little Easter eggs like for example Bucky the you know monkey and everything, right. little things like that really hit my heart to where I actually enjoyed it. I'm not saying it's the best movie in the world. But for it to get such okay. a low thing, you makes know, me feel like it kind of killed it really badly. So let me because let me counterpoint film. that by saying um, that CG of Evan's small body was almost Green Lantern level bad. Yes, but if we're gonna say that as well, then we need to go back to Black Panther because that had the same situation with the end scene of the train track, where the CGI was just as bad. But we're giving Black Panther so much praise. Well, Black, you get what I'm me, saying now? It was like a it better written film. But to me, there's so much more importance in the black panther on top of the fact that it has an amazing performance by uh kill what's his face michael Kill, b jordan by, 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 by no, michael b jordan and by uh, uh chadwick uh, boseman, chadwick chadwick boseman, boseman. Yeah. no i'm not done following them but at the same time and it means something it's a powerful movie and with good writing captain america is chris evans worst performance in his every but marvel see, movie that he's in but in. see you have to understand one thing uh, sometimes you have to you have to break some eggs. And the thing is, I don't feel like Winter Soldier would have been as good if it wasn't for this movie. Yes, but that doesn't that make this movie between, good. No, but the relationship between him, at the, the chemistry between him, between him and Bucky in this movie was really good. That you so, actually feel feel bad for but, in the late movie, and I feel like that's being being okay. overshadowed by other things. You know Wait, what I mean? Let's listen to what I'm saying here. Iron Man is is a movie that's important. And we agreed, we all agreed on that. Mm-hmm. And but it's not just an S because it's important. It's actually a good movie. It still holds up. Same with Avengers. I, Captain, I, I, go I, watch I, Captain America right now. It's what, absolute garbage. But what the reason I'm defending it so much is look at what we have ahead of it. We have Ant Man and the Wasp. We have the incredible Hulk. These movies are ahead of the original Captain America movie. It seems odd to me. Yeah, but putty see, Edward I, Norton gives an amazing performance in the Hulk. I don't know, man. I never liked I didn't like his performance. The only time I actually liked him was when he was the Hulk. And like, the fight really. scene, the fight scene at the end is amazing. In front but of the strip club, at, the Zanzibar. Right at Zanzibar on Young Street. But I mean, that's that's because we get C, the CGI Hulk is what makes that good. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even the, in my eyes, Edward Norton himself. But, but then again, you also introduce us to an important character in Thunderbolt Ross in that film, too. Right. That's But that has nothing to do with the Edward Norton, the, the main guy that's the, the star of the movie. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we, all, we we have to agree. We at least think that Chris Evans is, is, was... Would you not agree with me that Chris Evans as Captain America is better than Edward Norton as uh, as the as yes Fred in every movie after the first one? <laughs> yes, okay, I, well. I would say right now, Putty, it's it's obvious. Like I, in my opinion, I've never watched Captain Marvel or Black Widow. Uh, I tried to watch Captain Marvel, but it sucked. Um, I would say you can't like it, maybe it's better than the Hulk. I'll agree with you on that. 
But every other movie on this list is better than that. Well, Cap- no, I'm not Captain trying to America put an S. Movie. You guys think I'm trying to put an S. I'm not saying, just, I'm, not tr- I'm, I'm letting you know yeah, that yeah. in my opinion, the only movie on that I've seen on this list that's better than it, I mean, that's worse than it, is The Hulk. It would be second worst on my list. And of see, Marvel this movies. is my point here. For someone who's not arguing for it to be in a higher tier, you have such a strong argument for a movie that you even admit is, you're, you're basically saying it's not good. But no, for but Putty's, reason, Putty's arguing that it should be top of the C. That's what he's saying. No, not top of C, middle C. I mm. would say middle. C. You said you said better than Batman and the Wasp. No, right, but, I, not, but I'm saying that's based on my opinion. I'm saying if we had to move it to agree on everything, okay. I would you're say saying if if you had to place it, okay. I thought yeah. you were trying to make an argument. If for I had us to, to change pl- okay. it right now, if I had to place it, I would put it above Ant Man and the Wasp. That's what if, I said. If, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. But if, if but if if an agreement, if like I would say, if, like if I was just like, okay, I understand you guys' points and agree, then I would say at least it's better than Incredible Hulk. And so that's also, what I'm saying I between... just want to say this too. You made an argument earlier that Ant Man and the Wasp was better than Ant Man. So you're saying that Captain America is better than Ant Man? I don't remember that. Argument. No, no, I never said Captain America is better than Ant Man. No, Ant Man definitely is better than Captain America. But I you never just said, said Captain America is better than Ant-Man and the Wasp, and before you said Ant-Man and the Wasp is better well, than Ant-Man. I mean, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Ant-Man are kind of the same field with me, but again, Ant-Man was definitely would be trumped that. It's just, you know, I like them equally. They're not movies I go back to watch all the time. Like, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm based it on how it's, how it's like when I go to watch a movie and I go, oh, I love this movie. It, it draws me in. So when I'm looking at this movie, as I look at B, A, and C, or S, these are movies and TV shows, everything that I go back to just because I love them. When we start getting to the lower tiers, there's a few that i did like or i say two that i did like and then the rest of them i could never go back to i would say the only one of those c and d ones that i go back to is ant man and the wasp i, mean, I wouldn't yeah. I, I wouldn't watch any of the other ones Me either yeah. oh, i mean i, I haven't mean, watched black widow yet so i'll watch that but i, mean, I iron personally man 3, like it's on i'll watch it i personally like iron man 3 and the hulk the rest of those movies at the bottom i don't like well, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the way the list looks. I don't think Iron Man 1 should be an S tier. You guys are only putting it there because it was the first movie. It's not no, really... It's rewatch good, Iron Man. Yeah. It holds up, like, amazingly. It's really good. It does. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's I'll just try. a very... Just the thing about it, it's a very small story. It's super contained. Yeah. Because but they weren't tell, sure. But, but you could tell they were making sure that they, they put the blood, sweat, and tears into it to make it good. Because and it, it, it has something. a completely different feel than any other Marvel movie. It's very adult in comparison to the other Marvel movies because it wasn't controlled by Marvel yet. It was by Universal. I, either way, however yeah. you're going to spin or it, Paramount. I think Civil War is a better movie and so is Guardians. It's Hulk was Universal. Right anyway, end it up, John. Let's do this. All right, uh, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out Putty Man at Gamer Podhead. Check out Johnny Donuts at Johnny Donuts 777. And check out that other guy at the corner store. I'll see you there.